A company named Robes Cube decided to replace the existing computer system of their organization. Original cost of the old system was 25,000 and it was installed five years ago. Current market value of old system is 5,000. Depreciation of the old system was charged with life of 10 years. Depreciation of the new system will be charged with life of five years. Estimated salvage value of the old system was nil. Present cost of the new system is 50,000. Estimated salvage value of the new system is 1000. Estimated cost savings with new systems is 5000 per year. Increase in sales with new system is assumed at 10% per year based on original total sales. Company follows straight line method of depreciation. Cost of capital of the company is 10% whereas the tax rate is 30%. So you have to decide whether this company should go for replacement. So what we are going to follow here is incremental cash flow. We have to follow the incremental cash flow method to take a decision that is whether this company should go for the replacement or they should continue with their existing computer system. Okay. So now what we'll do, we'll find out what is the incremental outflow. So we'll have a working note one where we'll find out what is the incremental outflow working note one incremental outflow so what is the present cost of the new system let us capture that present cost of the new system and uh, it is 50,000 so when the company goes for this uh, project uh, they will not continue with their existing one so they'll be disposing of their existing project and there is going to be an inflow right b less net sale value of old system less net sale value of uh, old system but uh, that is going to have some small working notes uh, let's capture them see at what value you can dispose of the question says the current market value of the old system is 5000 so we'll capture that market value is 5000 but you have to know whether you are disposing it at profit or loss okay and for that you should know what is the book value so what we'll do we'll calculate uh, uh, what is the uh, book value of the system that is sold so how do we do that let's go back to the question question says that the original cost of the system was 25000 and it was installed 5 years ago the estimated salvage value of the old system was nil so this information will help us to understand what is the book value so let me capture what was the original cost original cost is 25000 and estimated salvage value estimated salvage value was nothing okay and the life life was 10 years life is 10 years so from this we can find out the depreciation depreciation would have been this original cost minus estimated salvage value divided by use for life so every year depreciation would have been 2500 and already this mission has uh, completed five years ago okay so we'll capture expired life expired life uh, should be five years so what is the depreciation or we'll say accumulated depreciation what is the accumulated depreciation on this mission and it is nothing but 2500 into 5 12500 so we know the accumulated depreciation if we deduct this accumulated depreciation from original cost we'll get the book value so i'll write book value and that's nothing but a minus f okay so that's going to be 25,000 minus 12,500 so the book value is 12,500 now once we find the book value let us also find whether this asset was sold at a profit whether this can be sold at a profit or loss because that will decide whether you are going to have profit on sale or you are going to have tax savings or tax expenses on sale because it can be sold at profit or loss right so we'll have working note three that is computation of uh, tax on sale of old asset okay so we know what is the book value now what is the book value it is 12500 
and what is the market value market value is uh, very less we know market value let's capture we have it here it is 5000 so is it at profit or loss it's actually at loss so what's going to be the loss loss will be 12500 minus 5000 and this loss will enable the company to save tax assuming there are other profitable projects so less or say tax saved on loss tax saved on loss so what is the tax rate let's go and check tax rate is 30 percent so item e tax saved on loss or item d tax saved on loss is nothing but c multiplied by 30 percentage okay so here let me capture it is 7500 into 30 percent the tax saved on loss is 2250 so if the company is going for new project by selling the old system they are going to get this market value no doubt about it but they are also going to save on tax so that is also going to be an inflow because savings as savings are considered as inflows so item number two tax saved on loss and how much is that it is 2250 so these two put together will let you know what is the total sale proceeds which is 5000 plus 2250 okay so if you can subtract this 7250 from 50000 you will get to know what is the net cost of new system so net cost of new system and that's a minus b is 50000 minus 7250 so your net cost of new system is only 42000 750 so successfully we have calculated what is the incremental outflow now let us find out what are the incremental operational flows so let me have them here working note 4 computation of uh, incremental incremental operational flows okay so we should know what is the additional cash flow we are going to get because of this new project so first of all we should know what is the increase in sales that is going to happen the question says increase in sales with the new system is assumed as 10 percent per year based on the original total sales of one lakh so we can say increase in sales item a increase in sales as one lakh multiplied by 10 percent okay so that's going to be the increase in sales is 1 lakh into 10 percent that is 10,000 then there is also some cost savings that is going to happen what is that estimated cost savings with the new system is 5,000 per year so here let me capture it's going to be let us capture what is the savings we have by taking up this mission there is an increase in sales that we know but there is an estimated cost savings with the new system that is going to be 5000 per year okay so i'll capture that here savings in cost and it's going to be uh, 5000 every year so this is going to be the total inflows uh, which is going to happen because of uh, going with this project but this is inflow only from this project and already you have some inflow but uh, let us also capture uh, what is the incremental benefit and please be guided this increase in sales actually talks only in incremental language okay so the existing sales and new sales are compared and that's how we got this increase in sales similarly savings in cost existing cost and new cost were compared and hence savings was arrived so we can take this and will proceed further so there is an incremental cash flow of 15,000 and let us also uh, give effect for depreciation we have to give effect for depreciation because there is an incremental depreciation how do you calculate the incremental depreciation already we have calculated the depreciation and uh, what was the figure we have calculated depreciation was 2500 and if that asset is going to be continued then 2500 for another five years have to be provided so that's going to be the existing depreciation it means we have to calculate what is the new depreciation so what's going to be the new depreciation what is the cost of the asset we know the cost of the 
asset is going to be 50,000 and it will carry some salvage value of 1000 and the life is going to be 5 years. Okay, so that's going to be uh, 50,000 minus 1000 and divided by uh, 5 years that is 49,000 divided by 5. Okay, that's going to be the depreciation on new one. Okay, and we are bothered about the incremental. So on new asset, this is the depreciation and on old asset, uh, we know depreciation we have already calculated it will be 2500 per year for next five years okay so i'll put this as calculation it's going to be 50000 minus 1000 divided by 5 so it's going to be 9800 and old asset is 2500 so what's my incremental depreciation it is 9800 minus 2500 my incremental depreciation is 7300 okay so now let me calculate the profit before tax profit before tax and that's uh, nothing but uh, this 15,000 minus 7,300 so I'll give a name for this I'll call this as C total incremental inflows okay so that is 15,000 then I have incremental depreciation I'll call it as D and profit before tax is going to be called as E okay so profit before tax is going to be item number C minus D and again please remember this is only the incremental profit before tax so let me use the term incremental profit before tax and that is item C minus item D which is 7700 so let us apply tax on this what is the tax rate taxes at 30 percentage so 7700 multiplied by 0.3 so that's my tax so I'll have incremental profit after tax and that's going to be E minus F simple so this is 7700 minus 2310 so 5390 so I can find the cash flows incremental cash flows now I can find the incremental cash flows after tax and that is item number G plus depreciation that is item D okay it is G plus D so it is 5390 plus depreciation of 7300 so it is 12,690 this is my incremental cash flow then let me also calculate uh, my incremental terminal flow working note 5 incremental terminal flow so what's going to be the terminal value of new asset terminal value of new asset that's going to be thousand and terminal value of old asset question says it is zero so your incremental terminal flow is this which is one thousand so now you have all piece of information let's uh, go and compute NPV so working note 6 working note uh, 6 computation of NPV it's basically PV of inflows minus PV of outflows right so we have to find out PV of inflows and that's going to be the annuity which we have calculated that is the incremental cash flows after tax but that is going to continue for next five years so we will call it as annuity and that should be multiplied by present value annuity factor for how many years for five years okay at the discount factor of 10 percent then there is also a terminal flow so we have to find out the present value of uh, terminal flow or terminal value okay so that's the PV of inflow then we have to compare it with the uh, PV of outflows so let me finish off the PV of inflows PV of uh, of inflows is going to be equal to the annuity of 12,960 okay and that should be multiplied with present value annuity factor for five years at 10 percent so we'll go to the table we'll go to the table present value annuity factor table at uh, five years across 10 percent and it's going to be 3.791 okay it's 3.791 so this is one element in my PV of uh, inflow then I should also have the present value of terminal value right 
So what is my terminal value? It is 1000. And that should be multiplied by PVIF. Okay. So that should be multiplied. Probably I'll write that here. Present value of terminal value. This is nothing but uh, 1000. Uh, let me have the bracket here. Yeah. This is 1000 multiplied by PVIF. Okay. Across uh, fifth year for 10%. So let's uh, go and find out the value that is 1000 multiplied by PVIF. So we should go to PVIF table. This is future value annuity table. Yeah, present value interest factor table. We have to go across fifth year 10% and it works out to 0 0.621. So we'll put it here. It is 0 0.621. Okay. So if we complete this calculation, let's see what we get. Let me just copy this PV of inflows is going to be equal to. Uh, let me just uh, copy this part. Okay. I'll copy this part and I'll place that equal to so much. So here, let me use that sign, exact sign. Okay. Plus 1000 into 0.621. So that tells me PV of inflows are 49,752. So this is the present value of inflow. Now this should be compared with the present value of outflow. So what is my incremental outflow? This is 42,750. So let me write that present value of outflows is equal to, let me capture that it is 42,750. Okay. So I should find out the NPV now. That's nothing but the PV of inflows minus PV of outflows 49,752 minus 42,750. So I get NPV as uh, 7,002. So let me check uh, whether it's right. I think uh, there is a small uh, miscarriage mistake. That is here I have taken PV of inflows. I have taken PV of inflows is equal to 12,960, but the right number is 12,690. Okay, so I should change this. This should become 12,690. So here also in the calculation, I should change it is 12,690. So what happens? Uh, this becomes 48,729 and outflows are 4,000 or 42,750. So my NPV is 5,979. So this is my NPV. This is my incremental NPV. That is by changing the existing project and by going for this new project, I'm going to get an incremental NPV of 5,978 as the NPV is positive. You can say as NPV is positive, old asset should be replaced. If you wish to learn more on this topic, do check our comprehensive online course. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video lecture, do not forget to click on that like, share and subscribe button with bell 